SpaceX will break ground soon on rocket engine factory near Waco. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk said on Saturday, detailing the plan in a series of posts on social media. The facility in the McGregor, which will be the aerospace company's second rocket engine manufacturing facility and will produce Raptor 2 engines. SpaceX Raptor engines are a family of full-flow stage combustion cycle rocket engines designed for use in Starship launch vehicles. Musk said the company's California factory will focus on SpaceX's newer Raptor vacuum engines, a variant designed for vacuum conditions, as well as new and experimental designs. The new McGregor facility will produce roughly 800 to 1000 rocket engines per year, or about 2 to 4 engines per day according to Musk. That would be 1600 Starship in 10 years. And by big rocket engine standards, the amount is super high value and would make it the highest output of rocket engines delivered and the most advanced rocket engine factory in world, said Musk. The SpaceX leases about 4,280 acres and employs about 500 people in the area, according to Vaco Tribune Herald. And last year, officials allocated $2 million to the company which plans $10 million in infrastructure improvements on the site. At the time, the Tribune Herald also reported that the company planned office in Waco for key personnel. In far south Texas, SpaceX has an operation center called Starbase near Boca Chica, about 20 miles east of Brownsville. It includes a production facility and a launch site. Musk said the new engine production factory would be in McGregor because of the challenges at south Texas site which is Boca Chica. He did not give details. The challenges of the operation at the Starbase left us with no choice but to put engine production in McGregor, said Musk. In June, Musk said in a Twitter post that he lives primarily in a Boca Chica home worth $50,000 that he rents from SpaceX. He previously said he moved to Texas last year to be closer to his two biggest focuses, SpaceX South Texas facility and Tesla facility currently being built in Austin. Elon Musk also said on Saturday that he intends to use the new engine production facility near Waco to help fuel his plans for the city on Mars by 2050. Musk said the engines will be needed for a fleet of rockets to be used over 10 years to create the city, which he predicts will take about 20 years to build. That's about what's needed over 10 years to create a fleet to build a self-sustaining city on Mars. The city itself probably will take roughly 20 years, so hopefully it will be built by 2050. So what do you think? Will SpaceX achieve this goal of a Mars city by 2050 with 1600 starships?